All right, so had a change of plans on the flap servo. Um, so it's designed for screws. I could never get the back one in half the time. So what I did this time is I drilled, I just drilled out the holes. Uh, the holes weren't lined up anyway, so I had to reposition and just make my own holes. I don't know why they drill holes. They never line up. Just put wood in there and don't drill holes. I don't understand why they do that on some. But anyway, so what I did is I drilled out for a three millimeter uh, uh, little bolt here. Use these 16 millimeter long ones and come in from this side with the head and then put the a lock nut on this side. Wow, I have got to get a better camera. Holy crap. Autofocus sucks. Anyways, so, but also what I did is I take these guys, but ow. These were, I, you get these a lot with helicopters to kind of put over the top of the servo and run your screw in to hold the servo in place. So I keep these and I use them in jets a lot. Uh, so what I did is, and because I'm Fataba, there's that little notch on top of the servo uh, mounting arm. Uh, so you either shave that down or you have these little kind that have to cut out for them and I put this on top and then put the lock nuts on so it doesn't so it's it's it keeps from breaking off the arms here on the servos so that's the change I'm making and that'll allow for uh, an easier removal and I can get all four and it's nice and tight um, so luckily these were already torn out, but luckily they use like quarter inch ply here, so that's kind of a nice thing. So um, the rod, uh, because they didn't put the bulkhead in straight, the rod is not going to line up with the servo. I mean, these are ball ends, so that makes it a little bit easier. But if you look at it, it's going to be kind of shit. There we go, that far off. So if you flex it over there and then you put the servo put the flat down which which changes the angle it'll kind of line up better but I you still have to add something to the top of uh, between the ball ball link or ball end and the servo arm to move it over just a little bit so I usually just put some little pieces of carbon fiber or washers or something for a spacer so oof, batteries already dead on this thing it's getting old so I'll go ahead and put this link on and show you that uh, as well. But I just wanted to do a quick video on that. Uh, is a change versus using these screws that come with it. They're Phillips head and there's just no way to get in from this side. You might, I, you can get these two, but and maybe that top one, but never that bottom one. Um, at least I couldn't anyway, so. But uh, yeah, moving along. Gonna have to take a break here. The wife will be home soon and we'll do dinner and stuff. So, but uh, yeah, next video should have these done and I'll show you that and then I'll start putting the covers on. Then, uh, uh, and there's a little trimming you usually have to do for clearance and everything, and I'll show you guys that. So, take it easy.